Hey guys, this morning I'm going to make the best breakfast burrito that I've ever made. Stick around. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. You know, it's a overcast, kind of cool, dingy Friday morning here at the Greenhorn Homestead. And last week I pulled out the Camp Chef 2x Explorer grill. Yep, that's it. And the flat top that goes with it. We gave you a little sneak peek of it. I'll stick a card up here. So I don't usually get a lot of chances around here to make breakfast burritos. I'm usually at work by 6.30 in the morning or sooner. Um, if I get a chance to make them, it's on the weekend and Sassy beats me to it. She makes a great breakfast burrito, by the way. But uh, after years of eating her breakfast burritos and other ones that I've experienced, I've come up with a recipe I think you're really gonna like. So without further ado, before we get started, I'd like you to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. And be sure to watch to the end because I have a special ingredient that's gonna put this burrito over the top. Okay, so I got this Camp Chef two burner stove on a medium heat. I think that's gonna work really well for this. Last time I used it for any serious cooking was back on the 4th of July. I'll leave a little card to that video as well. I did use this during the holidays this past winter, uh, but it was just for some baking. It was really quick and uh, you know I didn't really get to truly exercise it. So let me show you what we're gonna start doing here. Okay, the first thing I got here is this pulled pork. Don't mind the tater tots. That's gonna come a little bit later. So this is the pulled pork that we made last weekend. I'll drop a link to the video up in the tab there. Doesn't really need a whole lot of reheating, but I'm gonna put it on there anyway and just kind of set this aside. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that up here, kind of break it apart a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take this zone over here to low. I don't want to get it too overcooked. It's already hickory smoked as it is. I'm just going to stick it over there in the corner. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to take the tater tots. These are frozen tater tots. Again, I'm just going to push them up there. Actually, I'm going to put these kind of in between. Now, this Camp Chef has two zones. There's a burner here and there's a burner here. Right now, I got this side on medium heat and this side I brought down to low. Medium heat, you know, if you could keep your hand here and hold it for about uh, 10 seconds, it's about medium heat. So I'm just going to let those get all nice and crispy. Okay, one little tool that's really good for getting this chopped up. Now you want to chop, you want to chop this pulled pork up because it's going in a burrito. You want small bites of meat, you don't want big bites of meat, it'll rip that burrito, I'm sorry, it'll rip that burrito apart. We don't want that. I hate when a burrito falls apart when you're eating it. Just gonna chop that up. Okay, now one little, now one little uh, bit of information. When I was smoking this, I didn't really over season it after we pulled it apart. We put a little barbecue sauce in there, but that was about it. So I'm gonna take some of this Uncle Steve's shake, Gator shake, and I'm just gonna wake it up a little bit more. Not using salt, there's already a little bit in here. There we go, that's about all it needs for now. And continue to mix. Now this pork is fatty enough as it is, but since I am on a griddle top, I'm just gonna hit it a little bit with some avocado oil. Just, uh, just for insurance. Okay. Okay, yeah. Pull that off to the side. Check on the tater tots. 
Okay. Now since these are frozen, you could probably uh, get them started on a microwave. It's up to you. All right. That's looking pretty good. Okay, sticking to the theme. And do a little bit of Uncle Steve's on those tear tots. All right. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, as always, you gotta taste test and make sure that it's seasoned to liking. Mm. All right, oh, you know, pulled pork. It's probably one of the next to brisket, of course, is probably one of the best leftover meats you could keep around the fridge. Again, my little trick: don't over season when you first pull it. Season it as you build sandwiches or whatnot. That way, when you do reheat it later in the week, it's not too salty. Okay, it's coming up really nice. On the tear tots. Okay, a little fork push. Okay, those are doing nicely. Now these tear tots don't really need any oil or anything. I just want to crisp them up. They're probably already thawed out, but uh, I'll test one of those in a little while. Okay, guys. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to show you a special ingredient that's going to put this breakfast burrito over the top. You don't want to miss it. And while you're at it, please comment down below. We'd love to hear your suggestions, any questions that you might have, as well as please subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, these tear tots are browning up really nicely here. Now, the reason we're not adding any oil to this side and just letting these tear tots kind of crisp up is I want a little bit of crunch in that burrito. You're definitely going to get the uh, nice juicy pulled pork and some other special ingredients that I'm going to show you in a little bit. But I want a little bit of crunch. It's got a nice texture. Oh, coffee for me, babe? Yep. Thank you, honey. You're welcome, sweetie. Alright. Everybody's got to have some coffee in the morning. To get the chef fired up. Mmm. All right, and a little something special. Thanks, babe. Okay, let's check on the tater tots one more time. Okay, I like, I like where these are going. Getting nice and crispy. Okay, that one's falling apart, but that's okay. Throw those up. Okay, while we're waiting here for the tater tots, what's a good breakfast burrito without a little bit of sour cream, right? Okay, so we got this regular low-fat sour cream, but I'm just not going to stop there. So we're going to take sour cream, kick it up a notch with some of this tapatio. Now, a little bit of tapatio. And why not? Kick up Steve's shake. Mix that up. And we mix. Alright, okay, so uh, this is obviously right out of the fridge. There we go. We'll set that aside. But we also have some of Sassy's homemade salsa. I'll drop a link up there or down in the description to the video. Uh, it's a great homemade salsa chili. It's got hatch chili, a bunch of other chilies in there. And uh, we're going to put that in there as a special little treat. Okay. All right, these tater tots are getting right where they need to be, so I'm going to push them off to the side. These over here in the uh, low zone. Make sure that pulled pork isn't burning, and it's not. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is got a couple eggs. Okay. 
Gotta have some egg. Okay, so I'm just going to chop these up a little bit. Of course, give them a little dab of seasoning, Uncle Steve's. And you can see this camp chef has got a really nice non-stick kind of surface here that you almost want to treat it just like cast iron. Don't use much strong soap and oil it down when you're done with it. It's basically, uh, it's basically steel. Okay, this is how I like my eggs. I'm not going to overcook the eggs, so I wrap those up. All right. Okay, guys, I think it's time to assemble the burrito. So make sure you get this nice uh, larger burrito tortilla at about a foot across, okay? The well, first thing I'm gonna do, put a little bit of cheese on here. I'm putting it on the bottom just so that the meat, when it sits on top, it'll melt it down a little bit. All right, now we're gonna get some of that pulled pork on there. Still steaming, steaming from that uh, grill. Oh, that's so good, I'm gonna taste some of it. Mm. Still tastes good, but you know what? Put a little dab of Uncle Steve's shake on there. I'm definitely not overdoing it, I'm just doing a little shakes at a time. A little bit more cheese. Can't have enough cheese, right? All right. This is basically jack cheddar, kind of a mix. Use any cheese you want. Watch out, Patrick. All right, next. All right, next, gonna be some of Sassy's chili. Okay. Good. Then, okay, it looks like these are nice and, oh yeah, nice and crispy. Let's get some of these tater tots on here. All right. And egg. more. Hard to see that egg. There we go. And some of that sour cream that we made. Just gonna put that on top there like that. Oop. Oop, that's okay. It's okay. It's all gonna get rolled up, right? And for a special treat, I'm gonna take one of our fresh avocados off our tree and slice it up. Now this is a Haas avocado, and I'm just gonna take a couple pieces here, not a lot. There we go. It actually ripened a few days ago, but it's still good. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. All right. Now, for the special treat I told you I was going to show you. We got some of this hatch chili, roasted hatch green chili. There's some red chili in there as well. This is from Hatch, New Mexico. Now, anyone can just take some habanero and chop it up or some jalapenos, but this takes it to the next level this roasted hatch chili. It is just so delicious. There's just no other flavor to describe 
or no other word to describe the flavor you get from these roasted hatch chilies. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lay one across there. Now for the most part, these have had their seeds taken out. I'm gonna get one of these red ones on here. There we go. All right. Mm. That is just so good. Okay, protect the avocado. All right, here we go. Now this is gonna be the fun part. Um, this is probably a little overstuffed, but that's okay. Now, to roll a burrito, you wanna kind of fold the sides in, take it around. You wanna mold it with your hand. Kind of tuck that up and over. There you go. <laughs> okay. Let's do that again. Fold over. Yeah. This guy's getting away from me here. Fold over. Tuck in them corners. On over. There we go. All right. There we go. So there we have it, folks. We can call this the hatch green red chili uh, pulled pork burrito. Um, let's see here. Tuck it in a little bit more. All right, let's check this out. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Oh man. Mm. Incredible. The smokiness from the pulled pork, the spices from the hatch chili, Tapatio, Uncle Steve's shake, the cheese, spicy sour cream. Oh, it's just all combining. And then the crunch from the tater tots. Oh. This is the best breakfast burrito I've ever made. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. And we're gonna drop some links down in the description for some of the things we used here. You go get your own. See you later.